how do you see social media and you anybody's quest of be, trying to be happy and try to be a, a productive citizen um, maybe to, to that person's uh, you know home office society nation uh, at large how do you see this particular element I think the one of the key elements of unhappiness is comparing yourself to others in a negative way and social media has been terrible on this front because people put their best self forward even if it's not real so you've got social media influencers that are posing in front of cars that aren't theirs <laughs> they're they're setting up their room and they're saying hey we're on vacation in Fiji but they're really at their apartment in one of the rooms that they set up to look like Fiji or I've seen uh, social media people that when I travel they'll be so interested in being part of this social media movement and documenting what they're doing they're not even living the moment they're not enjoying it so uh, my wife and I'll be somewhere and we'll, we'll be on a, a boat we stop at, a, at an island and I'll look down the coast and there's these six usually women <laughs> that are in the water and they're putting their hair back and there's a, a, a another gentleman that's they're taking their picture and then they're looking at it together and say no I don't like this and then the, let's get a better angle let's suck in my stomach a little bit more and they'll take one of these vacations a year and they'll put it out throughout the year as if they're on eight or twelve vacations and then people look at that and say well, look I don't have a bag of money yeah, yeah. I don't have time to go on vacation I don't have that much time off I don't have that much money I don't have a car like that I don't look as pretty as they do even though they may spend hours with filters and all kinds of things mm. to make them look like they're not even like they don't look every day this isn't their everyday look this is their on-screen media best personality self. best self that doesn't exist throughout the rest of their life and then people look at that and say I'm not good enough I'm not pretty enough I'm not rich enough I'm not smart enough and they look in the mirror and they have these negative thoughts and negative conversations with themselves and that's where the problem comes in. Why? Suicide's way up in kids from, yeah, exactly. like from 8 to 12. You wouldn't think a 12 year old would even consider that. But there's a lot of pressure is in that, this world right is now. Is that only in the West or is it a trend all around the world? It's all around the world. It's, it's really heavy in the West but I think that because social media is a worldwide phenomenon people hop online they look and they say wow these other countries are better and I gotta say that I've been to 90 countries Sri Lanka is definitely one of the best countries in the entire world and I think that people don't recognize that live here what kind of gem they really have they're just so focused on the grass is always greener somewhere else they say where are you from I said well I live in Bali but I'm really a world citizen I travel all the time I'm originally from America America I want to go to America do you though <laughs> maybe you do maybe you don't you think that you want to live there in your life that you're gonna have more opportunities you're gonna have a better the American quality dream. of life the American dream I gotta say it's really hard it's really hard because the the average person doesn't care about you they care about getting through their day and doing what they have to do mm -hmm. I'm not saying everybody's bad and and people that do this aren't necessarily bad they're just not focused on others they're focused on what do I need to do right now to make my life as good as it can be and pay my bills and get ahead and if that's what you're looking for that might be a great place for it but this place has a whole different level of caring mm -hmm. and uh, they'll let people in in cars you say I want to be the first car in that's fine and some other car might go ahead of you but in the United States somebody might get out of their car with a gun or a baseball bat or spit on your window because they 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 weren't paying attention for the moment and you got ahead of them and it's not okay to get ahead of me you've now trampled on my personal rights I was there first that doesn't exist here people are are much more accepting and forgiving and loving uh, and you don't want to be somewhere other than where you are that is see uh, Greg that particular narrative which you just said is 
after you've traveled all around the world you've seen a lot of countries you understood all of this and you are making that statement honestly from your heart absolutely knowing the fact that this is what i really experienced now the problem here is that our people do not believe that our people think like you just said the grass is always greener in america the grass is always uh, green in the UK or Australia or Japan, any other country. Um, they don't understand what they have right now uh, as Jim. So everybody is working, everybody is working uh, uh, towards getting, being like America, being like uh, Australia. Uh, as a nation, are we on a path towards losing if we continuously think that that is the best? I haven't had enough experience and time here to really make an intelligent and accurate prediction. But I do know the grass is green where you water it, no matter where you are. <laughs> so if you take personal responsibility, what can I do to make my life and the lives of the people around me better? And this is your primary question. And you take the steps to have specialized education in the area that interests you and then take massive action and then have the the intelligence to look and see if what I'm doing is working. Am I moving in the direction that I want to move or am I moving away from that direction? And make the adjustments, your life's going to be great wherever you are. Now some people have a, an easier set of opportunities. Uh, you know, I've traveled to some very remote places where if you're not uh, a tour guide or uh, in the transportation of taking tourists around, you're either going to have to move out of that area or figure out a way to thrive in that area. But I think everyone has the opportunity to go where they want and become who they want to be. And that the information is out there and the specialized education is out there.